Uh, chances are pretty good you've never heard of an acoustic respiratory percussor. But after today, you're going to know all about it. I'm with Art Hughes, who is the inventor of the Vibra VM, which happens to be one of those things. Art, welcome to the Horse Show. Glad to be here, Rick. This is a device that helps horses that have breathing problems. It's horses that uh, have breathing problems, quite often it happens because they get stuff all in their lungs that they can't get out, without being any more graphic than we need to, correct? That is correct. They get a lot of dust and uh, particles floating around in the air, especially when they're eating. Basically, this gets into the lungs, into the sinuses, and at times, they can't get it out. And of course, if a horse can't breathe, he certainly can't perform, and it can be a real threat to his, his very life, correct? That's very true. And usually after about seven years, these respiratory conditions start showing up. Now, what kind of horses, in what situations can you imagine that they might develop these kind of problems? A lot of times in dusting areas, high humidity areas, uh, and when you have dust and humidity together, it's, it can be very dangerous. This is a sound device, correct? Yes, it uses uh, sound acoustic energy to break congestion up in the lungs and the sinuses. Well, I have to tell you very, very briefly how Art discovered this or invented this. He's, he's a kind of a self-taught engineer and he likes to tinker and he's got a great lab, I guess you would call it that, a <laughs> workshop. And um, he had um, a problem in that his wife at the time, who since passed away, um, had a severe breathing disorder, correct? Correct. And, and she was terminal. Um, they had sent her home to just live out the remainder of her days, and she turned to Art and said, Art, you're smart. Do something. <laughs> Art, you're smart. Do something. And in fact, he went into his shop and tinkered and put this stuff together almost as if he was guided by some other force outside of yourself. You didn't know what you were doing, and yet you invented this acoustic respiratory percussor. And he created something that she was able to use that not only cleared up her breathing problem, that allowed her to live another full six years before, I believe it was cancer, that ultimately claimed her life. Right. What was going on in your mind? Quite simply, sound is energy. It can vibrate things, cause shear forces. Through resonance, you can resonate one structure and cause it to vibrate, and the other structure will stay relatively steady. And the differential between the object that's moving and not generate shear forces and it'll, uh, the junction between the two will somewhat liquefy or loosen up and uh, the mucus in this case will break loose. So you're like a college professor. If my college professors had talked like that, I would have understood what they were talking about. <laughs> you have obviously have a natural gift for engineering and, and uh, that sort of thing. The device you actually ended up with uses low frequency sound. Is that correct? Yeah. Why low frequency? Because that's the natural resonant frequency of the structures within the nasal cavity and the lungs and the mucus. How did you arrive at the exact frequency that would work? Well, you have, a, uh, you have a range of frequencies involved that's fairly wide, and basically uh, you use a little bit of physics to figure out uh, the size of this, take the size of the structure, the mass of it, viscosity, so on and so forth, and you can calculate what frequencies will work. Now, so you insert this in the horse's nose, correct, in the nasal cavity? Correct. In the beginning, they resist a little bit, but they learn pretty quickly to tolerate that. Mm -hmm. And. How long does it take before you start seeing improvement in the horse? Usually the tre first treatment you'll see some um, relief. A lot of times if they have a lot of nasal congestion, the first treatment, uh, you don't want to stand in front of the horse. You might be painted. <laughs> you don't want to stand in front of the horse. Well, the other thing about this that I find fascinating, because not everybody has breathing problems with their horses, but a lot of people have behavioral problems with their horses that come from the horse being overly agitated, excited, nervous. Uh, this sometimes is manifested in traveling because traveling is a, is a stressful thing for a horse. Art, explain to me the sort of side benefit that has come out of the Vibra VM for nervous horses. Okay, um, basically because we're dealing with sound and we're placing that sound into the nostril of the horse, it's vibrating the entire uh, what the sinus structure, turbulence of the um, nasal cavity, which have a lot of nerve endings. 
and this causes, we believe, a large or massive endorphin release. And endorphins are good. That's that sense of well-being that animals and humans sometimes experience, right? Mm -hmm. What in your experience has been the reaction from horses that, that would benefit the, the person with a nervous horse? I mean, how, how do they react to that? Most generally, they calm down. Yeah. A lot of times, very good treatment, about four minutes within the treatment. Uh, a lot of times, they'll start to go to sleep. Really? Not always, but in many cases. So they go from being a little bit uh, nervous about this in the beginning, having this uh, foreign body inserted in their nose, to practically falling asleep. Um, your brother-in-law happens to be a veterinarian and a cutting horse rider. Yes. And he's the one that sort of saw the application of this to the horse um, from the human application where you had first developed it. Yes. And the question put to him was, well, if this makes horses sleepy and lethargic and overly calm, are they going to be able to still perform? And he said emphatically yes. In his experience, they come back very quickly with their full performance potential. Why do you think that is? Is it just they're getting rested? I'm not really sure except for they seem to be able to focus better. Uh, things that are going on around them don't seem to bother them so much. So they can really focus and perform much better. It's almost like a natural drug, isn't it? Well, an endorphin is a, a form of a drug. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Smart answer. This is Art Hughes of Vibra VM, and Art, it is a pleasure to meet you. You have such an inspirational story. Thank you on behalf of everybody and all the horses that have benefited from your efforts. So I appreciate you being on our show. Well, thank you very much, Rick. So have fun, ride safely, and I'll see you next time. For The Horse Show, I'm Rick Lamb. So get comfortable. <laughs> Don't fall down. <laughs> Don't step on your feet. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever fallen down yet on camera. One thing I have to look forward to.